So hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me today I have a very special student, uh, Dr. Sanjana Chatterjee and the story of Dr. Sanjana is quite unique. I think uh, I have not heard this story in the past. Uh, Dr. Sanjana uh, had a setback in the final prof examination uh, for some reasons that even she does not really know she could not pass the medicine as well as surgery practical exams and uh, she had a tough time but from there uh, she managed to get a rank around 900 in the INICT examination. So that's that's an incredible journey. And I think uh, all of us uh, should listen to it and uh, uh, take uh, courage from her story. And Sanjana, over to you. Uh, first of all, please introduce yourself and your college and uh, uh, whether it was a first attempt or second attempt, whatever it was, please, please let us know. Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Sanjana Chatterjee. I passed my MBBS from Arjikal Medical College and Hospital, Kolkata. This was my first attempt in any, uh, any PG entrance, and I secured a rank of 913 this time. Very nice. First of all, many congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. So, Sanjana, uh, for a student, MBBS student, uh, not being able to pass any exam usually comes as a setback. And, you know, not being able yes, to pass sir. medicine and surgery, the two of the biggest subjects must have been difficult. Yes, so, sir. so when that happened, how, how did you feel and how it, how did that happen at the first place? Sir, I, I uh, was fairly regular with my classes. I was, I was a backbencher, I would say. I used to bunk some clinics. I was not like the first bench person. But uh, I never had failed in an exam ever. Like mm. in a semester or in a viva, I never failed. I used to pass always, like mm. anyhow. But uh, in the final year exam, I was stressed about the exam. I was serious. But when the result came on 26th of April, uh, I saw that I had failed in both medicine and surgery practical only. Mm. So that day was, I think, the worst day of my life. I mm. never... I thought I'll just barely pass or maybe make it through to internship. But failing was something I ne had never expected. Mm. We always feared that we will fail, but we never really see it happen. Correct. But uh, that was really, uh, really hard for me. Me and also to my parents also. Uh, they were really shocked. And, and, uh, and how, was, subject, how, how was the reaction of your, your people around you, your friends and, you know, uh, batchmates? Actually, uh, my closest friends, I have really close four to five friends. They were really supportive. They said they were really supportive. My parents were really supportive. But, you know, there are some people on the periphery who also like, you know, maybe you had uh, palpated the liver wrong. Maybe you don't know where the spleen is. Uh, things like that. So you, I had to face both. But my closest people, the people who really matter, always supported me. Do, do you want to name those friends of yours? Yes, I want to name them. Uh, they are Dr. Uh, uh, Odunabho, Dr. Uh, uh, Onik, Dr. Aradhana, Dr. Shorab, and Dr. Ornob and Dr. Ishan. All right. So great, great. All of you, Ornob, Ornobho, Ornobho, Saurabh, Aradhana, you said? Onik, Aradhana. Onik. Yes, Aradhana, Aradhana. Ishan. And? Ishan. Ishan. So great Ishan. guys, yes. Isha. Okay, so so all of you, job well done. Supporting a friend in the time of need is is amazing, and I think uh, uh, Sanjana will carry these memories throughout. Anyways, so yes, Sanjana, so, so, so I'm sure four or five were great people, but then there would be some who would who would try to taunt you or you know make fun of uh, uh, you. So how how did you manage from that mindset to you know preparing and cracking INICT? You were telling me something about uh, this rule of INI, which was there in the past. So so yes, how, yes. How, how did you navigate those those months? So actually, I always wanted to study in an INI. After my MBBS, I I always thought that I'll go to an AIMS, I'll get a degree in a surgical branch. That was my uh, that was in my brain. So when the results came and I saw that I failed, uh, there was, used to be a rule that said that uh, if you fail a prof, if you have a supply, then you can't appear for an exam. I think the rule got changed recently. And uh, so I could 
appear for the exam but if the rule had not changed i won't be able to appear for this exam also hmm got it so rule is one thing uh, sanjana but you know uh, yes. handling that setback and then going for something which is like at the top uh, that's a difficult journey yes, mentally so so i am i'm very yes. impressed by what you did and i'm also very intrigued by how did you manage it how uh, how i mean it must have taken a toll on your confidence how did you gather yourself back yes. what did you think what did you tell yourself sir for the initial 2 3 days i think i stopped eating or bathing like i completely i was blank i i didn't know what to do where to start uh, i knew i had to appear for another exam again i didn't know if i had the strength to do that actually so it was my friends especially dr odunabho who is uh, pursuing general surgery right now uh, he said that you know do your best and you never know it's like a one day match an exam is like a one day match so mm. if you are appearing for a final prof and you are failing like a cricketer fails at zero run mm. it does not mean that you don't know how to play it means that you had a bad luck on that day actually right but still you are in the playing 11 if right. you are in the playing 11 in the next match you can do a century or maybe a double century so you have to be in the game actually right very well said okay so uh, rg car is in kolkata i have been to rg car recently i think it it has got a yes, big sir, big load so internship must be hectic yes sir internship must be hectic yes sir internship was very hectic and because i i knew that i was lacking in certain practical skills Uh, so i took my internship in the major postings very seriously i was the one who would reach you know before the shift starts and be there with the pg till the end and uh, that really helped me because the pgts are the people who have actually cracked the exam they know how to do it mm-hmm. and uh, being in the wards for more hours they mm-hmm. used to guide me and tell me you know Mm. this uh, entrance game is a different ball game from the mb or the profs right. actually right. so that really helped me and i really enjoyed my trauma duty mm. w- w- were there times sanjana when you had doubts in the mind that maybe i would not be able to do it uh, it is too difficult for me w- were there times like that actually actually uh, it was but also i had the benefit that no one actually expected anything of me because mm. i had failed previously no one actually told me you know that you have to top or you have to crack the exam mm. everyone in, including i think my uh, family also said that uh, you do what you have to do no one actually put the pressure on me to do well mm. so mm. that was a uh, added benefit for me mm. got it so so in a way lack of pressure kind of act as a catalyst yes. for your preparation you know got it yes, yes. so uh, talking a bit about the preparation uh, yes. with a hectic internship completing the course revising it i mean you were you were sharing with me some of the things that you did so uh, yes. can you share a bit more about uh, what teachers you followed how did you do it yes sir. so i would uh, like to share my timeline of preparation mm-hmm. so i uh, got my final prof results on 26th of april and on mm-hmm. 2nd may my friends were joining internship Hmm. on that day i kind of thought that you know everyone has got a lot of work to do i have nothing to do uh, other than sit at home hmm. i'm going to use this three months like there's no tomorrow hmm. and i don't think i've studied more in my life than those three months preparing for the uh, supply exams i hmm. took those three months like i have done my 100% in those three months and in those three months i actually did my four uh, final year subjects very well medicine surgery because i had to appear for the supply also oh. i uh, did the all the final year short subjects like dharma psyche i watched your videos for psyche sir and all the short subjects and final year subjects was done in those three months but the challenge so was you were uh, you were telling sorry sanjana sorry subject. but you were telling yes, me sir. that in in while preparing for the supply exam you studied the final year yes, subject sir. so well that they were kind of prepared for even the entrance examination is that what you're telling yes, me yes sir yes uh, yes sir. because nice. i i kind of realized uh, that the questions they ask in the viva mm. in the uh, viva of the prof they are similar to the mcus that mm. are getting asked in the inict so mm. uh, they are not two different things you can do the same things very nice very nice i am very happy to hear that all right please carry on please carry on 
Uh, so my final year subjects, including the short and the long subjects were done uh, by the time I joined internship, which was in 7th of August. Mm -hmm. And after, uh, after starting my uh, internship, I had the major postings first. So mm. from August to March, I had my major postings like medicine, surgery, gynae, ortho, trauma. Mm. Uh, so around that time, I said that uh, I will not pressurize myself too much. I will just uh, uh, I will just go to work and come back. Mm. But I will cut off the other things that other people do, like partying and you know watching series. So I worked like any intern is expected to work. But when I came came back, I started uh, solving PYQs. Mm -hmm. Of all the subjects, all the 19 subjects, I used to uh, just solve PYQs and write down the topics. So mm -hmm. till March, I had, uh, I was thought of with the PYQs. And mm -hmm. after March, I started doing the first and second year subjects, which, which are the, I mean, the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So since March, I seriously started preparing when I had the minor duties. And uh, now we are here really. <laughs> Got it, got it. So you also told me that you followed Gobind sir, Vivek sir, Zainab ma'am. Yes, sir, yes. All, yes, all these yes, teachers. Sir. So you saw the videos or you went through yes. the notes? Actually, uh, all the Zainab, Zainab ma'am's free videos that are available on the internet, I think I've watched them all. all Some right. of them even twice. Okay. All and right. uh, Gobind sir's uh, pharma is the standard. Like no one can beat Gobind sir. Uh, so Gobind sir pharma I watched. Mm. And I watched them in the second year also, some of that. But mm. again, uh, during this preparation phase, I uh, watched that only. For psychiatry, I only watched uh, your uh, that video on YouTube about uh, the division video, which was around three, three hours. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I did the big bike. Yes. Yeah. So again, Sanjana, yeah. So I think, I think uh, in your case, uh, content, I mean, what content did you follow is important, but what I'm more... Uh, into the journey part right because because i think uh, yes, sir. for you it it would have been slightly tougher at the mental level i understand you telling me that yes, the sir. pressure yes, was not there but see the way we evaluate ourselves does play a huge role so if, if i myself do not believe that i can crack an examination i cannot crack that examination yes. and then after coming from 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 a sit back and then you know making you making yourself study for such an examination that's in itself very impressive so, so I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. And, and also that part where you, while preparing for the supply examination, you completed the subject so well that you are good for entrance examination. And they, they say in English, no, when life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. This is, this is yes, exactly, sir. That, that's exactly what I did. And uh, that's exactly what I did. You know, uh, life gave me, I, and I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. I've, I've cracked that, that whenever I get a setback, I'm going to make the most of it. Very nice. So, so any last minute advice, Sanjana, for your juniors, for people who are today, who are, who are not able to believe in themselves, who did not get a great result, who are having thoughts that maybe I'm not meant for it. What, what will you tell them? I think that the people are there to doubt you. Everyone will doubt you, but you cannot doubt yourself. You have to see, have the pseudo confidence that I am the one, I am the superstar, I can do anything. So that kind of pseudo confidence actually helps you to get better. So whatever your level is, if you're a level 10, maybe it will take you to a level 15. So you have to have that pseudo confidence maybe in yourself and obviously you will do better than you expected. Great, great. Thank you, Sanjana. Thank, thanks a lot for sharing Thank your story. Thank you, sir. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure Thank that you, watching this video, many students will get the courage to study harder and yes. you would be the reason that for is the most getting successful. Thanks. And I'm very grateful for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Sir.